I'm currently standing in the two countries, partially India, partially uh, Pakistan. There's our brother. Well, welcome to uh, Pakistan, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great to have you here. Pakistan, Zindabad. Sat Surya Kal Pajis and Didis. How are we doing today? And welcome back to another video. I'm here with my good man, Swanson. And he's going to be taking me straight over to the Waga border, guys. So as you probably saw in my earlier video, I've been to the Waga border before on both sides, but I've never actually walked across. So today we're going to be walking across the border and it's going to be my first day entering into Pakistan for 2.0 series, my friends. So I am taking about a 45 minute or so Uber to get out there. And once we get out there, we'll go through the customs process. Now I have an Indian visa, I have a Pakistan visa, so I should not have any issues to get right across. I applied for both of them in advance. Obviously I'm already in India, so I have that one. And so I, from what I understand, it should be a pretty smooth process to uh, walk right across. And I'm not entirely certain what I'm even going to do after, because someone told me they're, it's possible that I needed like special government permission to be able to walk across, but that could have been like a restriction back during the COVID days. I'm not entirely certain. So if I don't get across, if I go there and for some reason I can't, then I will, I guess have to take a flight um, to Dubai and then to Pakistan or something. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue, my friends. And so I could go for a coffee right now, as you can tell, I'm super tired, just woke up here uh, early in the morning. But uh, yeah, let's head on over to uh, Wagga border. And there's the sign for the Atari border right there. So we're making uh, quick yeah. progress. I will say the difference from driving a couple nights ago to the Wagga border versus today is since there's no ceremony happening for a few more hours today, there's like nobody on these roads. Very clear, straight shot to get there. And so it's much, much faster. And you know we're close because there are flagpoles. So the flagpole that looks like it's a little uh, smaller to the right, uh, that one is Pakistan and then on the left side is India. So it's crazy like being on the India border you start to see signs like a sign said 24 kilometers to Lahore, two kilometers to the border. And so yeah, we are just about up to Waga. It's probably gonna look a little different now than when I was here because it's literally only set up for um, uh, customs purposes. So we'll have to see where we can get dropped off at. Integrated check, welcome to integrated check post. Uh, so we'll see here. All right, so being in the taxi, you can go up to like the first round and then way to passenger terminal. So I think this is where we go. That's what it looks like, yeah, right here, brother. I think that's it. There's a tip. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Ah. All right, my friends got the baggage and it's uh, time to head inside and cross the border. I'm not sure what I can and can't film, but you can see the Lahore sign right there. So here we go. I'm not entirely certain where I can and can't film, but I watched some other YouTube videos and it seems like since this is like a main road and taxi drivers are on it, then it's all fine to uh, to film some of this area. So the first one was like taxi check, passport check, just to check in. And then I have to go up here to like the customs office where they uh, scan the bags and look at the visas, those types of things. Well, that looks like the spot over there, passenger terminal. So this is our last moments in uh, India, my friends. It's been a great time. And here we are, it looks kind of like an airport terminal, but much quieter. Only a few people walking in. Here is the bus we're gonna be taking. So we just went through customs and they pick you up on a bus and they bring us to the Wagga border area. This is my good friend I met along the way. Hey. One more time, your name, brother? Asmir. Asmir, yeah. And he is traveling to three different cities, Karachi, Lahore, and Islamabad. So have an amazing trip, brother. It was you great too, to talk man. to you. Good luck with you. Thank you, brother. So this is the uh, bus we're gonna be taking. There's probably about like uh, 12, 10, 12 people that are all getting on the uh, bus here. I was talking to my uh, friend there and you know he's just telling me how hard it is to get the uh, the visa to you know as an Indian to go. So. All right and here we are. So this is the bus we hop on. All the uh, seats are covered in plastic probably to keep them clean. 
and then we are going to take a few minutes cruise over to the Wagga border ceremony area and that's where we can just walk right across so yeah pretty interesting to um, uh, talk to this gentleman about yeah just like uh, you know he's going to visit three cities and as an Indian you actually get city visas it's not a country ride visa like an American so quite blessed uh, to be able to have this opportunity to be able to cross this border because you know for 1.7 1.8 billion people uh, Indians uh, and then maybe quarter million uh, people in Pakistan you know they just don't have this ability to be able to cross through because of you know the things going on between the countries so quite, uh, quite I feel quite blessed to be able to have the opportunity to uh, go and cross the border my friends so yeah I'm gonna show you uh, parts of the journey that I can I don't know like inside there was like the customs area and you know just like airport security I didn't want to uh, bring my camera out um, one thing I was surprised about is my nail clippers which did not have like a little like knife thing on them were not allowed to be brought across and the nail clippers were stopped also in the Guwahati airport in the um, what are the airports Guwahati and the Kolkata airport and they checked them like okay we just want to check to make sure the nail clippers don't have a knife and I even told the lady that and she's like no 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 nail clippers at all can be brought so I was like oh all right quite surprised by that but uh hey just nail clippers so better safe than sorry right all right so we're taking the uh, bus right over here to the uh border now thanks for your visit right there that might have been like the old entrance to get through there because it looks like it's not used anymore. And there is the border. As you can see driving in here, uh, it's much quieter than in the afternoon when the uh, Wagga border ceremony is going on. So right now it looks like they just have everything else completely shut down. And there's a sign, Lahore 22 kilometers. So now we're right here at the uh, border crossing. I'm gonna walk over there and head in. All right, so it looks like we have people arriving from India here, or from Pakistan here, and then we're gonna walk this way, and this will get us to the border. It's funny being here without uh, the ceremonies happening. My friends, we need to stop the video for just one moment to share with you a project I've been working on that I am so excited about, and it is I am starting my first ever clothing brand called Perception. So there's a little sneak peek of what it looks like, but what's even more exciting is very soon we'll be releasing, and I'm giving away $500 worth of free apparel. So head down to the link in the description below, drop your email address there, and you might be the next winner. Thanks a lot, back to the video. All right, so just did the uh, last uh, India passport check, and as you can see, the uh, stadium's over here, quite empty from the last time, with all the cheering and the shouting. And it's crazy, we can literally see how close we are to Pakistan right now. Everyone's dancing, having a good time. This is gonna be a cool experience to walk across. Sab Sri Akal. Sri Akal, USA. USA. Okay, begin. All right, Danny Blood, brother. All right, so we're walking across. I'm currently standing in uh, two countries, partially India, partially uh, Pakistan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Salam alaikum, Pakistan. Uh, how are you, brother? All right, so we're back back in uh, Pakistan here. So it's great to be back. It is great to be back. Pakistan, Zindabad. The last time I was standing in the stadium, it was roaring with uh, excitement. The crowd goes wild. He's saying, let's go. Let's go. There's our brother. Well, welcome to uh, Pakistan, hey, brother. Pakistan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great to have you here. It's crazy to have the stadium empty. Yeah, it's yeah. Empty. Isn't it? So goodbye, India. It's been fun. We'll see you the next time. Oh, all right. We are here now, just not too far out from Lahore. We've got an I Heart Pakistan sign right there. I do remember being here, but it's so much quieter than when I was here 18 months ago in the evening. 
And so, yeah, it's a pretty chill border crossing overall. People are really nice on both sides, welcoming. There's barely anyone that crosses the border. I mean, there, like I said, there was a bus of 10 people. All the uh, military officers were nice uh, on both sides. And uh, yeah, now I guess it's time to find a taxi and head into uh, Lahore. Yeah, it's so relaxed. You kind of just walk across and uh, go from gate to gate. It's nice. I saw, it looks like families are uh, seeing each other for the first time. So in a while. And here we are, passenger facilitation center, Waga. All right, just went through the immigration process and officially in Pakistan. Got the visa, or got the uh, stamp from my e-visa. And now it's time to find a hotel. And they were a bit confused when they were like, where are you staying in Lahore? I was like, oh, I didn't book it yet. I don't know, I didn't, didn't even know which city I was gonna go to. I was just gonna make sure I could get across and uh, assuming everything was good and just walked right across uh, and so now i'll have to find a taxi and get myself a hotel booking along the way it's very quiet on this side peaceful though not too much going on this is something probably most people wouldn't do i'm on booking.com as i'm walking through the gates entering into pakistan just looking for the hotel that i'm gonna head to right now <laughs> and then no idea i'm literally just right on the border need to find a uh, a taxi driver it's probably going to mean some uh, negotiation tactics are required salam alaikum alaikum assalam how are you hey, good and you all right this guy looks like he does taxi services salam alaikum uh, how are you? How are you, Mohammed Rizwan? How are you fine? Uh, good, Mac Candy. Mac, can, uh, you uh, which country? Uh, United States. Okay, you uh, uh, you like taxi? Uh, if it's for a good price, yes. Yeah, good price. Yeah. But I'm willing to negotiate in case uh, no, we no. don't get a good price. No, it's, I've been to it's, Pakistan it's, before, so. Okay, uh, you come. Uh, Lahore to. Uh, hotel name. Hotel name, uh, Luxus Grand Hotel. Luxus Grand. Okay, no problem. Three thousand Indian rupees. Oh, the, oh. Indian rupees. Rupee, Indian, Indian, Indian. <laughs> yeah, right, brother. I've yeah. literally, I literally have been to Pakistan and I've came to the Wagga border to and from Lahore, the cost. 3,000 Indian rupees is 40 US dollars, brother. No uh, way. Uh, Pakistan, not a chance, uh, brother. Not yeah. a chance. Not a chance. Is it money change? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, brother, yeah? not a chance. Uh, how much you pay? Pakistan money, you like taxi, you see car, you relax, you relax, hotel, manager, friend, Mr. Jaz. Okay, no problem. Uh, 3,000 Indian rupees to go, 25 minutes away. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, brother? I am like 40 minutes water. Oh, you guys work together? Uh, no, no problem, sir. This is my brother. Brother, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah taxi driver. Yeah, yeah very, very good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully your prices on beverages will be a better price than his taxi. Yeah. How much for the Mountain Dew, brother? Mountain Dew is 100 rupees of Pakistani. Okay, perfect. You have Pakistani rupees, sir. Change your money. You have taxi, 5,500. Okay? Okay, sir. Very good rate. There's a, there, there is a, brother, there's a 0% chance I'm going with you at that price. How much you pay? Sh sharing, how much you pay? Hello, sir. How, how much you pay? You uh, uh, last sharing. A change, brother? Yes, sir. You, how much you pay? Pakistani money. I will pay 20 US dollars total. 20? US dollars. 20, okay, you go. Okay? You go. You got the SD card. Thank you very much, Thank brother. You. Shukriya. Ah, ice cold. Ice cold, cool. You know, they always say the uh, drivers that come and find the tourists are the most expensive. Expensive, no, sir. Uh -huh. expensive. No, uh -huh. no, no, no. Good price, sir. Expensive. All right, we're going to ask a couple other people around here. Is drop is come back to Vaga border. No people. You, I am only. Oh, the, there's a lot of people coming for the show tonight. No, no. Oh no. yes, there is. I've been to the Pakistan Zindabad side, brother. Oh, but first, not, not my first time. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, hello. Good and you? Very good. I just I got a Mountain Dew, but I'm coming back and I'll get one. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Uh, I knew the price would be uh, quite high from our man because uh, I told him the. Uh, hotel that I was staying at which is I think is the uh, nicest one in Lahore <laughs> so I guess I can't blame him for trying the uh, high price but we'll see if we're gonna hop on a motorbike or uh, if it's gonna be a taxi or what all right 
so this is it brother yeah twenty dollars good price good price or uh front seat front seat yeah all right all right oh he's leaving us we lost him all right well we're back in pakistan Pakistan, Zindabad. Pakistan, Zindabad. How can I get here? My name is Arizona. Arizona. Whoa, we're about to crash there, brother. Hey, you, uh, <laughs> ceremony, you, uh, you, Baga border ceremony, uh, uh, four kilo thirty minute. I have already been. Yeah. Last year, I was here one year ago. I've been here. You been here? You, uh, you, uh, you, uh, hotel, you hotel, you come back, draw, you come back to Baga border, okay? You uh, ceremony, brother. I've been to Pakistan. I've already been to a Pakistan uh, ceremony. Ceremony, Pakistan. I visited already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have uh, three o'clock, uh, you Lahore, you come back to Wagga border. No, brother, I'm not coming back to uh, Wagga border. No? Oh, okay. we lost something. All right, so we're leaving the gates then. And it looks like our man is a uh, trusted man because they let him behind the gates. Yeah. Salam alaikum, brother. Hotel, Grand Hotel, already in booking? Already booking. You, Sipansik Hotel, you, you, Sipansik, you, Galaxy Grand Hotel. You cheap, big hotel. Yeah, you know how to get there, right? Uh, you, yeah, you, uh, only Grand Hotel, you, 7,000, 6,000, 9,000. Uh, you know how to get there, yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let, let's go there, brother. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. All right, we are back cruising the streets of uh, Lahore. We got about uh, 20 kilometers to get there, yeah? Garden. 
Yeah. No garden. Straight to the top. Diga? Diga, diga. Urdu ati aapko thodi thodi. Thoda thoda. It's hot. Very hot. Hot in Lahore. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Cold at night? Mm. Cold night? Cold uh, you night, uh, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, you, you night. Uh, day, day hot. Hot. We are back in the city of Lahore and it is great to be back and we are arriving to the Luxus Grand Hotel which is nestled back in this little area here hidden between Assalamu alaikum uh, Is the 20 we agreed on? Is the $10 or 50? Well, we agreed on 20 brother yeah. We agreed on 20, brother. Five dollar note. How about this? Remaining Indian rupees. We got a deal. Is the name the money? Give me. Okay, no problem. Okay. Happy. 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 Okay. Shukriya, yar. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum, brother. Shukriya. All right, we're having a nice uh, green juice to start out. <sighs> much needed after a walk across the border. It's great to be back in Pakistan. All right, so we just got checked in. As you guys can see, I'm pretty tired, so I probably need a nap. And uh, your good name, brother? Muhammad Umar, sir. Muhammad, it's nice to meet you. Mac Thank Candy. You so What's your name? Mac. Mac. Nice yeah. to meet you, Mac. Nice to meet you too, brother. Thank you. First day back in Pakistan today. The first day? Yeah, I just first walked, time? Just walked across. No, second time. The second time. <laughs> yeah, I just walked across Waga. It's the Waga border. Yeah, yeah. Amrut, sir. Yeah, today yeah. Today at Lahore. Yeah, today. Mm -hmm. From Amrut, sir. How was your feeling you can cross that for the wide road? Yeah, I was, I, at one point I stood like this in Pakistan, India. <laughs> India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I stood nice. on both sides. It was great. Please. All right, this way, Billy. So, okay, we have a very luxurious entrance to this place. Well-lit hotel hallways. And this looks great. This is the one. All right. Fantastic. We got ourselves a little balcony over here, too. The uh, room, then. Perfect. It looks fantastic. Salam alaikum, brother. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah, all right. Oh, so, as you guys can see, we're going to be going to the gym for sure, and then the pool. I need to uh, take care of my body. I've been uh, not able to sleep as much the last couple nights. So, thank you very much, brother. Really Thanks appreciate so much, it. Sir. Thank you. Wi Fi detail mention oh, over okay. here. Wi Fi. Yeah, you Fast can Wi Fi. From the Luxus guest. Oh, perfect. And the password is a Luxus card. Okay. And the room service menu, this is right a QR scanning code. Okay. You can scan your mobile, and the menus came your mobile. Perfect. And the room service number, housekeeping, and laundry, and reception, and the speed dial mentioned for the number. Fantastic. You can dial any information, you can dial and complimentary water and tea set available. Oh, here. perfect. Right over here, yeah. The water bottle is complimentary, and also tea set up. Is a downstairs, is a the water bottle is also complimentary and the Perfect. cold drinks, chocolate, nuts, this is a chargeable area. That looks great. It's a third floor, is a pool, gym and sitting yeah. area is a third floor Perfect. and also playing the caramel and snooker is also third floor. All right, that sounds it's great. Timing 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. also. Perfect, most of the day. And your safety locker is here. You can yeah. use uh -huh. for a four-digit password, any password, you can use it. Okay. It's a safety locker. Perfect. Anything else, sir? Shukriya, Muhammad. Nice Hope to meet you. you. <laughs> Hope yeah. you see. You enjoy your stay yeah, here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. So yeah guys, let's give you the uh, full official tour. Now we've got the pool right down there, which we're gonna go and check out. And it's kind of like outdoor slash indoor. Like it feels outdoor, but in reality, like it's covered by this round glass up there. So really interesting design. It feels kind of like a, a heritage hotel with like all of the almost like um, traditional style architecture mixed with this like modern luxury uh, feel to this hotel. So really a unique spot because like this is almost like a balcony but it's not you know what i mean so i've like walked out here a couple times and it's like yeah, you can see all around and you have these curtains leading right here a nice spot to kind of chill and read and a huge bed let's try that out oh oh let me tell you this my friends are going to be sleeping well tonight as you can probably tell a little tired did some fast-paced traveling recently and haven't slept as much as normal and so, yeah, I'm a little bit overdue for some rest. But uh, yeah, this is a look on the bathroom. We got the Western toilet and 
really nice design here. Vanity kit, shower cap, shaving kit, dental, everything. And I like the uh, lion designs everywhere. So that is the shower. As you can see, I got my workout clothes on because I think it's time to hit the gym, then hit the pool, and then see what we have going on for dinner. So we shall do this in a couple moments. What I will say, I'm always so surprised with luxury hotels that it looks like all the upload speed's quite good, but like a lot of luxury hotels I stay at, like the the internet is just not that strong. Like this is good enough for most people, right? But like, um, you know, for more power users, like people that have to upload video, it's just, uh, that's, that's good. That's like minimum standard uh, for like uh, what I would consider very good. Um, yeah, that's just pretty slow. So I'm happy to see the upload though. Cause actually uploads usually what I'm like in need of most. Cause I have so much footage constantly, uh, being uploaded, but, uh, yeah, I found that like, it's not just here. It's like a lot of hotels I stay at. Like sometimes I'll book like a really, really inexpensive hotel. Cause I'm just not going to simply use the amenities cause I'm out filming all day and I'll find like crazy fast Wi-Fi, And then I'll go to these super luxurious hotels sometimes and the wi-fi is only either like kind of good or a little good and so i don't know why that is maybe like it's just so much more expensive for big hotels to like purchase internet packages i've never really understood that because like i feel like you know these really expensive hotels probably attract a lot of business people who you know need a lot of internet and so either way though guys like i do want to say like nine megabits download is like good enough for pretty much most average users so that being said it's still like good wi-fi i don't want to necessarily say it's not good here it's just sometimes surprising me that uh you know the megabits per second could be so low at such nice places all right let's go check out the gym and it looks like we're going to go to boardrooms pool gym so three must be the amenity floor and four, which is what I'm on's rooms, five and six is rooms. And then something called Zora's Hall. Probably like a banquet or wedding hall, I would assume. All right, been a few days since I got the uh, workout in, but hey, better late than never, my friends. Today's more of just a relaxation and uh, rest so I can be fully recharged again now that I'm back in Pakistan. All right, so we got the pool down this way. Oh yeah, that looks like a proper vibe. And boardroom down that way. So we gotta find where the gym is. Maybe down this way. Housekeeping pantry. Uh, brother? Yes, brother. Uh, do you know uh, where the gym is? Gym? Yeah. Uh, I okay. Shukriya, shukriya, brother. All right. And your good name? Muhammad Irfan. Muhammad Irfan. Nice to meet you. My name's Mac. All right. Okay, around the pool then, yeah? All right, this looks great. So we got the pool area right here. We're jumping in straight after the uh, gym session. And we got pool next to the pool area. All right. Board games, yeah. Okay. Oh, and we've got the secret passageway straight into the gym. Okay. Perfect. Uh, thank you, brother. Uh, brother? Thank you very much. Alright, our good man Muhammad showed us the gym, so... Well, the gym is a little old school. It's a bit lean on options to work out in, but good news is we have the basics, enough for me to be happy. We've got dumbbells, we've got a bench press, which it looks like we can change it to uh, incline, decline, three yoga mats and treadmills for cardio. So yeah, I'd say um, definitely not the most impressive gym I've been to, but uh, I would guess it must not be used that often if they haven't upgraded it. All right, that was a nice little uh, quick gym workout. Enough to uh, get the job done. Let's see how this pool feels. Salam alaikum, brother. Oh, that's nice and ice cold. Well, I think it's time to uh, get pool ready. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That is 
ice cold. Wow. Whew. Got the whole pool to myself though. Literally like a private pool. And now you can see uh, this place much, much better. Got a spiral staircase that leads all the way up there. I wonder if I can climb it, it looks like I can. And I think my room is that one right there, right above the pool. So, welcome to the Luxus, my friends. It is refreshing after a gym session to hop right in, I'll tell you that. Cool. Best form to finish up a workout in the pool. And that's a wrap, my friends. Oh, refreshing, but ice cold. Because the pool's kind of indoor, not outdoor. Outdoor, it's pretty cold out, or pretty hot out right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, guys, I am launching my Perception clothing brand, which is a sneak peek right here very, very soon. And I'm giving away $500 worth of free apparel to you guys as a thank you. So head down to the link in the description below, drop your email address, and you might be the winner. Anyways, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.